Last year, my brothers and I, we built a push cart and participated in a push cart derby here in Northeast Minneapolis. We did okay with our push cart. We ended up getting about third place, as I recall. This year, we're going to participate again, and we need to make a better push cart. So the first thing we need to do is make a list of the requirements for this new push cart. Some of them are required by the competition, and some are required by ourselves to improve on last year's push cart. Then we needed to do a little bit of research to see how we could make it better and faster. So I went on the internet, researched push carts, got some ideas from plans, and then we started working on designs. We really need to be able to draw out what the push cart looks like so that we can communicate with each other, so that I can share my ideas with my brothers. After we've made some sketches, we were able to settle on a design and then make a more realistic, accurate drawing using Google SketchUp. Nice thing about SketchUp is it has a 3D warehouse where I was able to download an existing model of a bicycle and use that in my design. And then after we have our design, we're able to make a plan, make a budget, and build our push cart. We were able to come in under budget because we recycled a lot of materials and got free stuff from Craigslist like these bikes. A lot of people give away stuff on Craigslist that they no longer want. We got the bikes because we really wanted good, fast wheels. <laughs> Well, we met all our requirements and came in under budget, so the last step is to communicate our success, and we went and we did really well at the push cart derby. We ended up getting second place, which shows that the engineering process is never done. We'll have to go back to the drawing board next year, build a new and better push cart, and see if we can get first place.